you moved on? Was it you that walked away or was it Tyson? So what had happened is obviously got cut, got through the fight and um and won, but you know, again said I said he wasn't sticking to his meal plan and nutrition and he came in at eighteen one or something like that when the plan was to be eighteen eight, eighteen nine, something like that. And then it was my fault that he was coming underweight, but he was fatigued, body was fatigued, wasn't sticking to the meal plan um and the and the nutritionists uh, plan so he came in light got cut was definitely drained before the fight like five fights in the space of a year that's a lot for anybody never, never mind a heavyweight then put on top of that a 10 stone weight loss like what do you expect it's phenomenal think, though, you know? that's unbelievable what do you expect and then yeah obviously the dad john uh had criticized me but realistically the the, the thing with me and me and john was we got along very well and then there was a few things behind the scene that was nothing to do with the coaching and the job that I was doing with Tyson. How could you not be happy when, you know, you at one point you thought he was never going to make a comeback. Then people thought he was going to get blown away in three or four rounds by Wilder. Then he got this ESPN deal and all that happened. Like, And then he's had, what, a tough fight, got a bad cut. Like, uh, and then he criticised me on the TV. And then afterwards Tyson was like, my dad's gone to town on me and you. Uh, but listen, no one will ever replace what sort of what you've done and what you've done for me um and then he got the then what he got the wwe thing and we flew over for the for the wrestling and then a few things happened there not necessarily with tyson but you know we had a bit of a discussion there and he probably didn't quite like it the discussion because it wasn't me talking about positive things, it was me talking about a few negative things and that that was going on. And then what I decided to do was, because obviously there was the, the, what had happened before, there was a case of, I thought, right, let me get everybody together in the team, go through every individual, what does everybody think, so everybody's happy with everything that's going to happen. So I held this meeting, but it was a case of meeting for people in the team, people that went away for the training camp, this is your job. Do you think there's anything else that you should be responsible for? Is there anything else you want to be responsible for? Um, this is so-and-so's job. Does everybody else agree with that? This is what I'm thinking for the fight. Does everybody else agree with that? And then I I went over to Wilder and Ortiz, the second fight. And he was in a bit of a negative mood at this point, Tyson. Ah, I shouldn't bother going over there. Um, waste of time, this, that and the other. But I got along well with Wilder's coach. And after the fight, I got the vibe from the way Wilder took that fight. I thought, I know what they're going to do. They're going to try to start slow, let Ty create a comfortable environment for Tyson to then boom, basically. Not, I'm going to keep my right hand in my pocket, let you get comfortable, walk you in, boom. And from being in that fight week, that's what I learned. Just by me being there and a few different conversations, I thought, I know what they're going to try and, try and do here. So I went back and said to Tyson, he messaged me back saying, um, I'm going to start fast then. And I thought, that could catch him off guard because he's going to expect you to get on your toes, go on the back foot. Mild was thinking, I'm not going to throw much. Let you get a little bit confident. Then boom, out of nowhere. Um, and so I was like, look, I actually agree. I think that could be quite effective. But I think if it starts going through the rounds, you know, you need to do a bit of this and a bit of that and blah, blah, blah. So that's where the whole starting fast thing come from. Um, and then I went up, I was like, look, I think I can see, you know, you're probably not in a great place right now. Um, I think we should, you know, start doing a bit of training, even if it's every other day or whatever. And then, nah, I'm sweet, I'm brand new, this, that, and the other. But I knew, I knew you weren't. And a couple of weeks later, or a week later, or 10 days later, it was like, oh, um, do you want to come up and do a session? Went up and done a session. And after the session, we had a bit of a chat. He had to make a couple of decisions business-wise. I had to make a couple of decisions business-wise. And at this point, I already knew that Josh was coming over um, to do some training. Billy Joe was there at the time. And the plan was to always bring someone else in. Not that their their job is to take over but to bring someone else into it it's, it's a big job and a hard job training someone like Tyson 